What is going on, Draw It To crew? Welcome to Draw It To. My name is Ramney, and this is another episode of How To Draw. Here in this channel, I help you develop your artistic skills by showing you how to draw your favorite characters from TV, movies, video games, comics, or books. So if this is your first time here and you want to see more videos like this one, be sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to click that notification bell icon so that you guys are notified anytime I upload a brand new tutorial video. Are you ready to draw? Here are the tools that you'll need. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper and black ink pens for inking afterwards. We all draw at different speeds, so as you're watching this tutorial, remember that you can pause this video at any time so that you can catch up on your drawings. And if you find that this video is still going way too fast, remember that you can always hit that speed button at the bottom right of this video to slow it down. Also keep in mind, one more thing, results will vary. So if your drawings look a little different than mine, that is completely, completely acceptable as well. So having said all of that, let's get right to the tutorial. All right, you guys, as we start our Gladiator Hulk tutorial, I'm going to um, not draw the hands this time around just to shrink the amount of time it'll take to do tutorials because hands alone take forever to do and it'll add another extra 10 minutes to this already long tutorial. So let's get started. I'm going to first draw the Hulk. I'm going to draw his head or a circle right around here. Make sure to leave some room up at the top for the helmet and the, I don't know what the proper term is, but like the, the mohawk part of the helmet. So. I drew a circle right there. If you guys still don't know how to draw a circle, um, well, I've got to be honest, I don't think this tutorial is for you yet. You need to go and learn how to draw a circle first. So make sure you practice that. Okay, from here, we're going to make Hulk's head kind of squarish. So that goes down and it narrows a little bit. And here are the jaws and then a straight chin like this. So that's going to be the Hulk's head. and. Uh, Let's go ahead and start putting in the shoulder muscles. Here's one right there. And there's going to be one on this side too, but it's going to be covered by the big fat um, shoulder pad that he's got that's covering one side, this side. So let's figure that out. Let's figure out where it's gonna go right here. And it's just, for now, we're going to do it like this, okay? Draw a line going down. And then imagine that same line going down over here. And this is gonna be the center um, of the torso and right around here is going to have the chest so about this far going down and you notice that it's slanted it's uh, angled this way he's going to have his chest going like that and then think of like a actually let's fix that up it shouldn't be that slanted okay so you still kind of want this to look rather squarish okay so about the about little less than the size of the head you want the you want the chest to sort of go it's going to look like this so that's the line for that okay now let's start figuring out the shoulder and let's shape that out so from here you don't want it to go too far actually i'm going to make it that short and then i'm going to start drawing a circle and that's going to be for the shoulder and what i want to do is i want to connect the torso to that shoulder right there. So if you made your torso a little too low, bring it up a little bit so that you guys are, um, you guys align it with the shoulder in this way. Okay. All right, from here, you're gonna have his big hulking hands. Here's the bicep, it's gonna go right here. And then here's the tricep here on this side. And then we're gonna leave it like that. Okay, this is just going to be the forearm, but it's going to be foreshortened and that's it. So that's a, a general idea of what the arm is going to look like. I'll add some details a little bit later on. Try to do this as light as you can, you guys. I'm just fixing this up. I want to get the shape as bright as I can. Okay. Yeah, try to do it as lightly as you can. Now let's go over here. This is going to be the back. It's going to go down this way. And imagine him bent over. So his, his torso is going to be shortened, right? Because he's bent over, leaning forward. So it's going to go this way and then down like that. Okay. Now on this side, the shoulder, the shoulder armor is going to be huge and it's going to go from the head going down and it's going to cover pretty much all the way up to this far down the chest. Okay. I'm going to erase this. And now that we have an accurate, a more accurate idea of the size of his body, 
we can adjust the shoulder armor accordingly, but it's still going to be pretty huge. So it's going to look like that. And then we're going to draw the forearm coming out this way and this way. Okay, so now we gotta fix the Hulk's, the rest of the Hulk's body. So right here, you want to create the chest. So similar to how this chest uh, bends over here, we gotta create that same bend on this side going up. Okay, now find a spot on this side and bring this down. And the way that he's posed, he's going to be stretching this part of this side of his, um, this side, and this is gonna be crunched a little bit, okay? Okay, find a spot right here, and imagine drawing a line going down, and right here as well. Imagine this line going kind of straight down, so that you guys get an idea of uh, Hulk's torso. Okay, right around here, goes down like this. Okay, so imagine this makes this round, roundness that goes around like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna end it off right around here. That's good. Actually, I wanna bring it up, up to almost this point. So this goes like that, okay? Bring it down, and then it spreads out like this, and these are gonna be his legs. And I'm not going to draw his legs, it's just gonna add some more um, time to the tutorial. And I really don't want this tutorial to go um, super long. Okay, this goes down, you know, like this. And I'm gonna leave it like that for now, okay? So here we have the construction lines the basic construction lines for our Hulk. Now, at this point, um, make sure to pause the video and see um, if you got the proportions right, make sure you got the chest and all that stuff. Try to get it as right as you can. And once you do, let's go ahead and add some details. Okay, we're gonna start off with the head and the face. So I'm gonna grab a brand new, uh, brand new pencil. I always like to have these, uh, a whole bunch of them sharpened and ready to be used. Keep the center line, erase the bottom of that circle that we did. And let's zoom in on that face. All right, so the first things first, we gotta figure out where his eye line is gonna be. And it's gonna be right around here, okay? We're gonna need to bring this up a little bit higher because his helmet floats atop of his head. So it's not right on his head, this is just the shape of his head, but the helmet actually goes much higher up. So keep, keep aware of that. So here's Hulk's eye line. And imagine drawing a line going down from the eye line uh, to here. And imagine two lines going this way and this way. We pretty much got um, the Hulk's face right within these lines. So just rough for now, I'm going to draw the nose right here. And it sort of creates this diamond shape. So I start with the two sides and then nostrils like this, and then the tip of the nose like this. Okay, so that's where that is. That goes this way, and then it goes this way. He's gonna have a pretty large, like beneath the nose here, that's gonna be pretty big. For the mouth, it's gonna be like a scowl, an angry looking scowl. It's gonna look like that first. That's the upper lip, and then bring it down bring it down on this side as well. So that it sort of looks like this stretched out looking letter M. And then pretty much this goes straight. Now let's draw a lip, just a lip line underneath it. You don't wanna fill the entire lip, otherwise it'll look like, it'll look too feminine. Okay, upper lip as well. Just a couple of lines, but I don't, I'm not going to draw it all the way. Just a couple lines showing the upper lip. A line going inside here, going across. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to draw the teeth. Okay. And then on each of the sides, I'm going to shade it dark. I don't want to draw a full set of teeth all the way from the left all the way to the right. I just want to show the front teeth and shade in the sides. So there you go. There's the Hulk nose and the Hulk mouth. Okay, now here is two lines right here. That's of course going to be for his uh, angry looking scowl. I'm going to erase the top part of the nose now or just the nose part. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna create these lines going this way. So these lines are here, um, that's 
two lines that are that show that he's scrunching up his nose. Okay. Now from here, I'm going to draw his eyes rather, uh, rather flat and squinty. So here is his, um, what do you call it? That's his brow. It sort of goes above, above the eye line, slightly, and try to make it even on each side. Okay. This goes across. And then I've pretty much made the top of the eye rather just flat. And then the bottom of the eye is where I do this. So the bottom. Now make sure that you don't have your eyes too far apart with each, uh, from each other. So adjust accordingly and try to make sure that you got proportions right on the face still. So you don't want to draw uh, too big or too small. There you go. And then pupils at the top or half circles in the center, I mean. There you go. And then another circle inside. That's it. Some eye bags underneath. And right here, some angry looking wrinkles off on the side there, like crow's feet. And that's pretty much the face that we're going for for the Hulk. I'm going to draw that, that's pretty deep, in here as well. But not all the way, of course. Okay, the chin, I'm going to draw a line down here, and just round off this chin a little bit. There. So that's the look that we're going for. Now let's start working uh, around the face to draw the helmet. Zoom out a little bit. We're going to start off right here. This is going to be the low part of the helmet right here. So I'm going to draw this, this curve. And what it's going to do is going to come out this way and this way. Don't draw those too, um, too dark just yet, because we're going to try to figure out how the helmet um, forms around the eyes first. Okay, two lines going down over here. And then we're going to find a spot right here, draw a straight line here and here. And then this connects like that. You want to make sure that they're proportional, right, as always. Okay, from here, this goes back up this way, and then down until it goes past the face. There. Okay, so now there's a bit of a, like this little triangle spot right there, so you want to add that. Okay. Now add some depth to this. So you want to make sure that it's coming out of the face so that it looks like a helmet that's on a face and not a mask. Uh, does that make sense? So you want to add some thickness to this. Um, so just to give it some thickness, make it go out a little bit more. And down here, what you want to do is you want to, you want to create a line going like this here and here. And then it sort of just, it curves in comes out and then curves like this. Okay. And I actually do have my action figure right here. So here's what I'm trying to go for. This right here. Oh, that's off camera. There you go. This right here is what this is. Okay. And so you can see you want to add some depth, some thickness to that helmet. It'll make, it might make the Hulk's head look bigger. Um, in proportion to the body, but that's fine. Okay, let's keep working on this. Uh, once you kind of reach this part here and here, you want to bring this up in a curved manner. I'm going to raise the top of Hulk's head. So about that high, and then you want to go straight across. So it kind of looks like a bucket, but we're going to fix that. Give it some roundness, and you don't want to make it too flat. I made it too flat. There you go. And you want to make sure that the way that you have it drawn, it's still, you know, it's still looking pretty uh, symmetrical. So here's the flatness. It's going to be a little bit higher here at the top. We're going to, we're going to draw that in later on. So, okay, start over here, draw a line going up, drawing a line going up over here. 
and then you can create this this little mound I'll call it a mound like that okay and above that it's about as this pretty tall so you want to you want to create, well first you want to create this little square area right here, this right here. So a little square area like that. And then from there, just going up, going all the way to the back. There you go. You see a little bit of it coming out on the sides, going all the way to the back of the head. So this goes pretty high up. Not as big as the head, but it does go pretty high up. Okay, so now let's work on the helmet. Okay, right here. It goes across, and then down, and then that way. This way and this way. You do the same thing on both sides. There you go, right here. I'm going to draw two lines and then they sort of run down the center, going all the way to the brow. But as it goes down, it gets narrower. Okay, and then two tinier lines like this and then a line like that. And then from here, going straight down all the way to the same, same points down at the bottom. There you go. Now you don't wanna bring it all the way down. You wanna create this outline so you want to create this second layer above the helmet here, or just another outline around the where the eyes are, like that. And then you want to create some spikes. Let's draw some spikes from here. It goes up and then across, up, across. Okay, diagonal and then across. And then right here it's got some spikes. So I'm just going to create a bunch of triangles and sort of stick out like that. And then there you go. From those triangles, actually not from those triangles, what you want to do is you want to create another line here, another line here, and then kind of parallel to this, you want to go this way and this way. And then you want to bring a line going up to the top. Okay. So that's what this is right here. Where we're going to see it from the side. So. It's just going to be a series of lines going this way. I'm going to draw one, two, three, and then one more. So four lines on each side. Right here, there's going to be a spike over here. So I'm going to create another triangle similar to this. And then about a third of the way up, there's another spike right here. So I'll create another triangle there. Right here. And over here. Okay, I'm going to draw another line sort of going down right here and then, okay, so I'm going to continue these, this, this outline, the second outline that I'm drawing, I'm going to continue it going down to there and then it kind of goes across like this. Okay, and then once it goes there, you want it to pop up again on this side. So this kind of stays flush against this straight line. And then after that, you want to you want it to come back out again, and it goes all the way to there. There you go. Okay, let's add another layer of padding. Sorry, let me fix that. Another layer of padding right here. Here, it just does this. Can you guys see it? This one right here. Same thing on this side. There you go. As you're doing this, you always want to make sure that it is proportional, right? Okay. Add a spike, actually, here and here. Add a little spike, and then here's another one right around here and here. This goes so we drew these two lines. What you want to do is you want to go from this spike right here, just beneath it. Let me zoom in. 
just beneath this spike right here, you want to go from here going down to there. So just beneath that spike, you want to go from there to the outside, and then and then you bring it down. There you go. All right, so that's pretty much the helmet. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make the nose a little bit wider. And that's just for me, and you guys don't have to do it if you feel like you're okay with the size of your Hulk's nose. But I'm just going to slightly adjust mine, because I think in the picture anyway, is looking a lot wider in the nose. There you go. And I forgot to add just a thin layer of eyebrow just above the brow line. There you go. And right here. There. Okay, he does have makeup on this side and I'm just going to draw them as lines going down his face. Just up to the mouth. Just up to there. And it goes, kind of, it runs across his eyes. And then he's got some, a little bit of it goes across like that. And a little bit more on this side. There you go. So it just looks like a ladder with another line over here. That's just what it looks like simplified. Okay. Two lines here. There you go. Just adding some extra details. And there you go. You have Gladiator Hulk's head. Now let's work on the rest of it, because that looks pretty detailed, but everything else is not in detail, so it kind of looks weird. Let's go ahead and fix that. I'm going to start right here and start drawing the, the neck. Oh, I forgot to mention, it does have like this skirt part, I guess, so the helmet kind of comes out this way in layers. So I drew a triangle first, and then I create one layer like this. Like a Christmas tree, you're adding layers and layers and layers. And we're going to leave it like that. Okay, so now let's find the necklines. Here is, here's the back. That's the shoulder, actually. And then some necklines coming out this way. One going down right here. Right there, actually. Another one right here. So we just, we don't see his neck, but we're going to draw the lines that make up the neck. And over here, he's going to have this thing that's going to cover this part of his uh, body. So we're not going to bother with the necklines over here. Let's just worry about um, this. Let's bring this down all the way down to here, just beneath the chest here. And then it changes directions and it goes off to this side. Okay, let's do that. Uh, do this lightly because this is going to be in layers. And this is going to go beneath the, this is what we're drawing right here. Okay, so I'm going to draw another, I'm going to draw it again, going down this way, and then going to the side, and then two lines in between. There you go. From there, we're going to draw some lines going across this way, about this far apart from each other. So it creates this net. Do you guys see this little net area? That's what we're doing. Okay, right here, and here, here. So you just keep working until you reach the top. You kind of want to change directions too. Um, I should have done that. There you go. Just let it follow the curve of the body. There you go. Oh, from here now, we're, so we're changing directions. Uh, this goes up this way, and this goes up going up instead, here and here, there. So that's good. Now let's draw a strap going from here, two straps going across the chest to the other side, underneath the armpit. So here's the chest. We want to go underneath to the armpit area. From here, follow the chest, and then from here now, go all the way up to here. So you want to go from underneath this chest to above this chest, like that. Okay, 
and then underneath the chest again, about that thin. And then it gets thicker. We want it to go like this. There. I'm going to erase this part so that you guys are not confused. I'm going to erase a little bit of the chest as well. There. Okay, we're going to do another layer. This time around, we're going to go um, right here. And we're going to go down to here. And we do the same thing. So I'm doing this because I want to make I want to make sure that I get the curve right. So that's why I'm doing it in small lines at a time. But uh, usually I try to stay confident with my lines and try to get them right the first time around. So normally I draw them long. And that's that's the trick, you guys, knowing when to draw your lines short like this or when to have to do this, what I just did there. So you want to create this layer, another line. Uh, you want these to be about the same thickness. So look over here, they're about the same, right? These two straps, that's what we're going for. And then just keep working at it until you get the right shape that you want there. And I think that's the shape that I want. Erase this now. If you guys did that right, you could, um, you'll overlap where this changes directions and that's kind of how it is in the picture. If yours doesn't look like that, that's fine too. It's not wrong. Okay. So we got those two straps. I'm going to draw a line right here connecting those two straps. Parallel to this big shoulder pad. There you go. Let's add some details to the straps. And hang on a sec, Maya. My Hulk is falling. Let's add details to the straps and then let's draw the chest and then we'll do the shoulders and then the arms. Okay, so details on the strap. There's actually some, but they're kind of not that important. Okay, let's draw an oval right here. From that oval, I'm going to draw two lines going across and then meeting at a point right here. Okay, from there, lines going like this. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I'm going to just outline the edges to give it that 3D depth, you know? So there's that outline there. Here's the, here's that spiky pattern. Okay, do this again. So it looks like that. And then from here, just a line going all the way to there. We're gonna leave, we're gonna keep it simple. We're just gonna do that, okay? And then what you can do is add some nicks and scratches there, like he's been he's been fighting with people, with uh, other aliens, and he's accumulated a whole bunch of scratches across the across the way. Okay, and then over here, this goes like this, and then from here, going all the way to the armpit. So think of it as like a spear. Even here, you don't really see much of it, but that's what we're essentially trying to draw. Okay. Let's do the same thing on this side. Double up on that line and then here. Give it that sense of depth, that 3D look. And then from here, this goes, there's a line, two lines that go this way, and then they just sort of go across. And then as you go across the strap, they come closer and closer together. Okay, over here is where I'm going to draw this part. That right here. And then I'll just leave it at that. There you go. <clears throat> now let's draw the chest, okay? And some abs as well. Although there's really not much abs, to be honest. So here's the skirt, we want to keep that. Okay, so just add some details to the chest. Just gonna erase some of, a little bit of the 
construction line so that we know where to put the chest. So now, let's do the bottom of the chest first. Looks like that, right? And then here, here's the top of the chest. Sort of goes across this way and that way. Okay, now we've got the shoulder, shoulder lines. Add some muscle definition going from the armpit, going out. Kind of looks like that. Connecting the chest. Okay. Here, we're just gonna add some of these serratus muscles right here. So it just looks like that one, two. Some abs going this way. Here's a curve for the ab. Goes this way and it goes across to here. So it, a lot of it is gonna be covered, so I'm not gonna worry about, oops, that was a little weird. I'm not going to worry about giving it a definite shape, but just a, a general guideline. So here is another one. There you go. So those are the abs right there. And then the rest of it is just covered anyway, so we're not gonna bother worrying about those. So that's the, the chest for the Hulk. Okay, now um, we can add some details to this skirt piece, but um, to be honest with you guys, I think I'd rather just leave it blank just so we can concentrate more on the top. But what we'll do, here's what we'll do. Draw a line going across over here. And I'm using a different thing now, um, different image as a resource. So draw a line going across, that's what this black thing is. And then from the sides, this goes this way and another, uh, another skirt piece goes from here, going this way. Okay. So we'll do that. Looks like that. So now we've got this um, kind of hexagon shape that we got to draw right here. So let's draw a hexagon. It's not quite Actually, it's more of an octagon, now that I look at it. Okay, so a really wide looking octagon, kind of off. Doesn't look even throughout. And then it's got this um, bar that goes across. So it looks like this. And imagine this is going to act as the belt. From here, it goes that way. And here, it goes this way. It gets wider as you go. Okay, that's just the, that's all the details I'm going to add to that. I'm not gonna bother with the rest. That's just going to be like this skirt piece, this purple skirt piece right there. That's what this thing is at the top. And then here's the belt area, purple skirt piece. Sticks out a little bit further than the belt does. Belt keeps it together. And then once you have that, I'm not going to bother with the rest. I'm just going to draw. I'm just going to draw it like this, okay? So I'm going to leave it like that. Now let's go to the arms and let's work on the shoulder first. Here's the, we got to get rid of that roundness uh, of the shoulders and give it some definition. So I'm going to start right here, kind of where the bicep ends and the sh meets the shoulder here. And I'm going to draw a curve like that and then I'm going to add a layer at the top here and then another one here and it looks like that okay here we've got the the bicep bicep comes out over here and there you go that's the bicep it's not circle either it's more of a bean shaped and right here it's kind of flattened by the shoulder so you want to keep that in mind and on this side line going down like this and then here we've got the tricep there on that side there you go you want to make sure that uh, your hulk's arms are appropriate right an appropriate size and then right here i'm sort of debating whether to add details to it or not um i don't think i will so I'm just going to draw like that, flatten this, and then 
here is where his gauntlet starts. And I'm not going to draw the details on the gauntlets, you guys. I'm just going to make it look like this and just leave it blank. So we're just worried about the arms. Okay. Now let's work on this shoulder pad. Now this shoulder pad has is divided into different sections. So here's a section right here. We're going to we're going to draw that last. The first thing is we're going to draw three ridges starting over here. Here's one ridge. And this is what I mean by ridge right here. Do you guys see that? It's got one, two, three. There's actually a fourth one, but this one's going to almost be hidden. We barely see it. So let's draw these three ridges on the top. And this is that section that I was talking about right here. So there's one. Let's draw a line going across over here. The ridge goes this way. And then I bring it up to here. And then it sticks out to there. Actually, let me fix that. There you go. So the ridge goes, curves across the top of that shoulder pad. And you want to create these ridges so that they kind of look in line with each other. But they're going to be angled farther away. So this is a, a bit of a tricky thing to even try to explain. But um, you just want to make sure that these ridges sort of line up with each other. Okay, so it looks like that. So it's a whole bunch of lines that go across and they go over the shoulder. So imagine this thing sort of, it does that. And then these ridges go above it like this. Okay, and then a little tiny piece comes out right there. Okay, this little part, I'm gonna actually, let's continue this first one. Uh, just looks mechanical, I guess, is what it, I describe it. So line going across there, diagonal and down. And then I do it again over here. And then just a rectangle like that. And then I'm gonna try to simplify this. From here, it goes like that again, it goes down. And then this goes across and sticks out a little bit more like that. Okay, this little um, armor plating has also got some dents. So you guys can add that when you start inking your drawings. Add some dents to this metal. Everything's sort of battle damaged with uh, the Hulk's, uh, the Hulk's armor. So add as much scratches and, and all that stuff to the armor and make it look worn. Okay, and then here's the, here's the, the arm. And I'm just going to draw a strap going across like this. And then the top part of it is going to be the armor, this armor right here. That's what that looks like. So um, his, what you're actually seeing is you're only seeing the forearm. This is the forearm, his shoulder and um, everything else, his bicep and stuff is covered by this. So you only see the forearm. It goes like that. And then one, two, give it some layers and then spikes like that. And that's it. So you guys, that's what that looks like. Um, there's one, a couple more things that we need to add to it. And it's just essentially this, the tattoos. And there are a whole bunch of straight lines that are just these weird, uh, weird symbols. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to draw, and I'm going to start off with one line going down to the middle of his chest here and just build around that. So I'm going to draw another line here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this first, first tattoo kind of go underneath that second tattoo like this. And then I'm going to draw like a C shape here that goes down just to there. And it kind of looks like a question mark and then just continue building it. And he's got some all over his arms too. So it just goes like this. There's no, uh, it's hard to give you guys instructions on it because it's all sort of very random. So my suggestion is for you guys to just take a look at reference photos and see if there's, there's a way that you can replicate all this stuff. Like I can't even, it's kind of hard to explain. 
know what I mean? And I'm not going to do it all. The only thing that sort of looks a little distinguishable is the, right here, the tattoos here, or the war paint there. You start off with a diamond shape and then a whole bunch of circles. One, two, three. And it, it's okay if it's not completely even for there you go. And I think I'm just going to leave it at that. I'll just leave one more right here. And that's it. Okay, so once you have that, you've got Gladiator Hulk, this guy, from Thor Ragnarok. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's it's fairly long. It, I didn't intend for it to be this long, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. And that is all the time that we have for this tutorial video. Thank you for watching all the way to the very end. If you are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So there's three different ways that you can send your drawings my way. Number one, you can post it in the Google Plus community for me to see and for everybody else in the community to see. You can also post it on Instagram and tag me, or you can email it to me at drawto at gmail.com. I look forward to seeing all of your artwork. Now, if you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have a kit.com link down in the description below. Make sure to check it out and find out what I use to run this YouTube channel. Now, what you see right here is me inking this artwork. If you want to see a longer version of this inking process, make sure to head on over to patreon.com slash draw it to to become one of my patrons. This is one of the perks that you get and uh, if you guys do want to support this channel even more, yeah, make sure to head on over to patreon.com. There's different rewards that you will receive if you do decide to um, support me through Patreon. If you're curious about other ways to support this channel and to keep it sustainable, I have merchandise that you can purchase such as t-shirts, mugs, and mouse pads. And you can also buy some of my art prints in my art store, my online art store at draw2.storeenvy.com. Be sure to check out my art store often because I regularly post brand new stuff that is available for you guys to purchase. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you guys liked this video, commented below, or shared this with your friends in your social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a whole bunch of coloring pages from the tutorials that are found in this channel. Finally, before I go, I want to say thank you to these lovely people who have decided to become my patrons. And yes, thank you so much to all of you. And thank you for watching. And as always, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next video.